On Sunday, July 10, the July Malawi Group participated in the commissioning of the new church in Lusanjala, the church that First Church helped build. The ride into Lisanjala was bumpy and slow, and there were so many smiling, happy faces along the way, waving to us as we drove by. This is definitely the warm heart of Africa. Some of the children ran behind us as we drove, trying to catch our bus. As we pulled into the village, none of us had any idea what to expect. We were reunited with the Women's Guild, all wearing their white head wraps, and met many new people who laughed and laughed when we were able to answer correctly when they asked Muli Bwanji, which means, how are you? There were children everywhere, from babies wrapped in jutenjes on their mother's backs, to teenagers, and they were all beautiful. What we witnessed was an amazing gift from God. The ribbon cutting ceremony started with church members singing and walking around the church. After a prayer, the ribbon was cut. The leaders knocked on the door of the church, and we all entered into the building. The decorations were beautiful. The church filled with hundreds of people, and the three and a half hour service started. There were nine choirs, each of them singing their praises to God in the way that only our Malawian brothers and sisters can. From the children's choir, to the Lisa Njala choir, to the women's guild, the music was incredible. An amazing gift given to the congregation and sung for God's glory. In the middle of the nine choirs, the champagne group was invited up to sing. We sang just one God. Compared to all the other choirs, our singing felt a bit awkward, but it was an honor to be able to give them the gift of Paul's song. We were also all introduced by name, where we all had our chance to say Moni, or hello. There were dozens of honored guests and visitors, including a member of the Malawian parliament. Several pastors, or abusas, gave short sermons, including Scott, who spoke about how we all need each other to make the church, that one part doesn't work without the other. I couldn't resist and had to take a picture of his dirty tennis shoes peeking out the bottom of his robe. Gifts were also exchanged, some given by us to the Lee Sinjala congregation, and others given to the church from us. It's not every day that you get to see a live chicken in church. The church in Lee Sinjala is a huge blessing to all the people living in that area. It will provide a place for Bible studies, choirs, and Sunday church. Above all, though, it is a place that we can call home. Not a home away from home, but home. We learned that their home is our home, and our home theirs. What a gift from God to be able to share in our lives in this way. <laughs>